guess you shouldn't have ran that light, huh? <laughs> oh, who was right but this guy? <laughs>
I think it's the, a lot of the information is pretty much out there. I wish they just knew it wasn't a big deal. Like, yeah. that word makes people freak out. I talk about it in my stand-up, and people, like, I have to do a joke right away after I say the word herpes because people are like, herpes! Yeah. And I was like, as long as we, like, human beings are gross. Like, yeah. we get sick, and we get stuff. And also, you can have that, that one breakout I had. I have had, like, two since, and, like, they're not that bad. It's not that bad. Right. It's like if you've ever had, like, a sunburn... Yeah. It's, like, less bad than a sunburn. It's, like, no, if you have herpes, it's not a big deal. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's a chronic issue, but, like, it, it, um, it just lessens each and each time you well, get it until... Mm -hmm, and they make medication for it Yeah. Uh, that you can take if you want, uh, which I did for a while until my body got used to fighting it, and now I don't get breakouts. And it forces you to live a better life. Like, mm -hmm. stress, lack of sleep, smoking cigarettes, drinking, doing drugs, bad diet, all that shit will make you flare up uh, way worse. Uh, with a breakout, so I had to like learn stress management, mm -hmm. still smoke, whatever. Uh, but it, it, it kind of helps you live a better life. Mm -hmm. Herpes, uh, yeah, it's for, it's a present from God, I Her guess. Herpes is friend of the show. Yeah, friend of the show. Dear mom. I had an exciting first year of college. Where to start? I don't even know. I might as well start at the beginning. This is me driving up to the dorm for the first time. I was so excited. I had no clue what a totally awesome year I was about to have. The first night I arrived, me and my friends went to this awesome party at a house called Pounders. You wouldn't believe how many cute girls are in this college. This girl was a media studies student. This was a homeless guy I met on New Year's Eve. We hung out all night. Don't ask me how he found that fur coat. Wow! For a short while, I thought I had meningitis, but it turned out to be a cramp. Whew! That was a close one. During my first couple of weeks in college, my friend introduced me to this comedian called Vince Vaughn. He's really funny. He had this one joke in the movie Wedding Crashers where he talks about motorboating the breast of a really hot girl. You just know he was high when he wrote that joke. They say you get more politically involved when you go to college. That is certainly true of me. Here I am at the election party. I'm pretty sure Obama is going to win this one if the contest was bear pong. Oh, this was the party I met Semtech. We soon became real close friends. Posting this photo on Facebook cost me a job interview. Oh well, it was worth it. That was an awesome party. This was one of my favorite get togethers of the whole year. We duct taped malt 40s onto each other's hands and couldn't take them off until we finished each one. Of course, it wasn't all fun and games. We had to go to the hospital after Semtech cut his hand. Wow! I guess now is to show you my friends. This is Em and Steph. We like to smoke pot together all the time. You'll be surprised at all the platonic adventures these two shushkas put me through. This is one of my roommates, Chad. We were both a freshman, and he's a really strong guy. He's also a rapper. I think he might be the next Eminem, and I'm not just saying that because he's white. This is my other roommate, John Field. He makes me uncomfortable. And of course, here are my homies, Semtech, J-Dog, Ash, and of course, Raymond over there on the computer being all boring. And who could forget Andres and Coke Beast? I don't remember who this was. This was a guy I saw at a party. He had a whole atlas tattooed on his body. Isn't that cool? He said he tattooed the word liberty on his side because he believes in liberty. I had a lot of fun this year and made a lot of new friends. Of course, my first year wasn't all fun and games. Sometimes I'd feel really lonely, like as if all these people around me were completely indifferent to my existence. 
I'd also think about the universe a lot. I mean, it's really huge, right? So that makes us all really small in comparison, right? It's just that sometimes I feel as if nothing I do matters. What foundation am I building for myself to be an adult? Will I be a likable man when I grow up? Am I a likable person now? Does what I do matter? Anyways, I'm going to see you soon, Mom. I love you very much. Signed, Derek. So yeah, my kid's stupid. He can't read. No, he's not stupid. He just can't read. He didn't learn how to read yet. Yeah, how old is he? He's 25 years old. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I came in a woman when I was five. Jesus Christ! I have some weird papier. Like I think you were raped. I mean, I could. You could call that rape. What did you call it? Weren't you telling me about like your reading problems? Can you read? No. Everybody can read. Why can't you read? I didn't want to. What? Like the whole time in high school? Yeah, I faked it. What do you mean? How do you fake reading? Okay, so someone's like, go read a chapter. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And instead of doing that, I just stared at the blank page. You don't know how to read. No. All right. I this... never thought it was like important to learn. Why, why don't you think it's important to learn? Well, I always like McGregor, to be honest with you. Who? What? Never mind. McGregor? Yeah. Who's McGregor? The guy who doesn't know how to read. I never heard of this guy. He's into MMA? No. Oh, that guy? Yeah. No, that's the Irish one. The black guy is the one who knows how to read. Really? Yeah, it's weird. Here, oh, let me show you how to it. read. It's really the easy. Wrong guy for the worst Listen, reason. I got here a newspaper. So there's like a paragraph, right? That's like a lot of words. Yeah, it's a lot. And then there's like a, inside of that, there's words. And inside of that, there's syllables. And inside of that is letters. So you first learn the letters, and then the syllables. And then the words, and then the paragraphs, and all of a sudden you're reading. You're it's throwing easy. a lot of information. No, it's easy. It's just it's it's just simple. It seems, it seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. All right. There's over ten thousand words. That's all you have to do. In the human lexicon. Yeah. So let's start with you pick any word. Uh, what does that say? Well, can you sound it out? Yeah. Here, what what's that first letter? Oh, is that that looks like a squiggly line? It's a squiggly line. That's a Superman one. It's like a snake or Superman. Yeah, yeah. And what sound is the beginning of Superman? Bird. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. What's the sound that's the beginning of Superman? Plane. No, 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 oh. no, no. The sound. Like oh, the... okay. Superman. Like yeah, that. Yeah, Superman. Yeah. Okay, okay perfect. Okay. So, what's the first letter? Superman. Yeah, Superman. It's okay. the same letter as Superman. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's on his chest? Oh, a big squiggly line. I think it means hope. Yes. But the big squiggly line stands for what letter? Oh, uh... It's hope? his name. Oh, Clark. His name's not Clark, it's Superman. His name is Clark. No, he pretends to be Clark. No, he, his name is Clark. Legally speaking, it's He's Clark insecure Kent. about being a human, so he likes to dress up like those people. He's insecure about nothing because he's Superman. No, everybody's got insecurities. Does he ever read? He doesn't have to. What's Superman's weakness? Uh... Loving too hard. No, it's being adopted. Now, let's go back to this word. Right here. Okay, Alright, so yeah. what does it start with? It kind of looks like a snake. It looks like a snake? Yeah. And what, what noise do snakes make? I'm the devil. Ugh. Well, that's what like old snakes make. Okay. But you see like a snake in like the wilderness. Like what noise does it make? Oh, it says, let's have sex. Put me in your body. It says that to me. It does? Yeah. Why? What? What happened after that? I put it in my body. What happened after that? Ladies I don't know. I got up and I the met you here. L train is now arriving on the rock. So this next thing, like what does that look like? Uh I say it was a little top hat you put on a nice bowler man. Alright, so what is it what noise does the top it hat? It kinda looks like a fitted hat if you look at it kinda like that. Yeah, so what noise does like a fitted hat make? Oh um uh, hat, I used to imagine. Yeah, <gasps> hat. Are you just gonna cough? What are you doing? No, no, no. I'm making like the the huh noise of a hat. Okay. So, so you have those two words. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the snake noise and the hat me. noise. <laughs> so, so you, inside. You combine them together, and what noise do they make? Okay. <laughs> All right. Then let's condense that a little. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, you combine it. Shaha! All right, faster. Shaha! Are you uh, faster than that? Shaha! Huh? 
Sha. 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 Okay. All right. So that gives you the next word, which is a. Okay, a. a. And then, and then you combine the two words. Okay. Sha a. Sha a. Sha hi. Oh, reading is so much fun. Sha-ay. I know. It. So you got it. Shades. Shade. Okay. Shades. That's what does shades mean? Shades. Yeah. Oh, it's when you're being mean to your friends. Yeah. So what? What? what say it all together. Okay. Shades means to my friends. That's good. You you got your first word down. Really? Is that what that says? Yeah. Shades means to my friends? Yes. Oh, I'm a natural. I'm yeah. a regular book reader. Yeah. What does that word say? I don't know. I can't read. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I have right here uh, Jake Fromm. Hey, John. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. Uh, uh, right now, I'm going to ask you. Uh, to play a song for me. Okay. A song that already exists, or do you want me to make up a song? You have to make up a song. I have to make up you a song. You have to make up a song. Okay. You can uh, break the string because it's kind of like. It's it's really hard. It's to get really to, short. It's, it's hard to. It's, it's not intuitive at all. Okay. And I think like it, that had to been like a financial decision on their part. Of, like we will save ten cents per unit on a short string. On a shorter string, but it's just like well, trying to hit the biggest note. Okay, I guess that's reasonable. Yeah, I mean you can reach everything you need to reach, but you just can't really like wail on it. No, yeah, no. you can't. You if can't you, get well, out. I got on a pen, maybe uh, to that. break the string. I have a no, d- no, just to, like maybe I have a knife in my backpack. You can also oh, you can use the knife, but I'd have to like, go get it. Use, oh, you, you can go double. Do, like, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to play a song now. Okay, okay. We're here today at the John Field show, and I'm wondering. How it's gonna go? I didn't know that I'd be playing a song, and now I feel like the song's too long. John, do you like my tune? I want to eat a giant prune. It'll make me poop inside my pants and run around with some fire ants. All right, now. You played that song. Can you play like a, a? Can you play a song that could become number one hit on the radio? You don't think that's a number one radio hit? Do you think it could be a number one radio hit? I mean, there's a lot of passion behind it, and I feel like you know, true passionate art gets. Uh, yeah, it could be a number. All right. I mean, you some wanna, passionate okay. art. Okay, you want to get in until like after they you know yeah, yeah. die. Yeah. It could be like a number one hit, in the, like 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 just like like a pop hit. Yeah. With like a good hook. Okay. It could be like thirty seconds. Okay. And something about like like I don't know. I think they talk like about a fucking. A yeah, lot. yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say yeah. like yeah. You can't say fucking on the radio. No, you can't. Can you yeah. say fucking on the show? Oh yeah, you can. They're not gonna stop us. Okay. I'm shaking my butt. I'm shaking my butt. I'm drinking lots of drinks and I'm shaking my butt. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's that's a that's a number one hit song by Jake. Fry. Do you have a DJ name? Uh. <laughs> uh, I had a cross country coach who was named DJ Booby. Really? Uh, that was his DJ name. Yeah, yeah. So, Wait, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he DJed as DJ Booby. Where would um, he, he he would would he do at clubs? like at parties and stuff? Okay. Yeah, as DJ Booby. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, in an homage to him. I'll be DJ uh, Nipple. How how serious was he about it? Like was was it like hey up next at Back Booth? That's a club. Uh, <laughs> like, hey, or is it like hey happy. 30th bar mitzvah for there's no 30th bar mitzvah. Yeah, yeah. Well, people celebrate the anniversary of the bar mitzvahs. They like redo their bar really? mitzvahs the same way that married couples would have redo their vows, or they like read the Torah portion on the anniversary of their bar mitzvah. Is that like really observant people or? Um, no. I mean, people did it at my synagogue, which was conservative. It wasn't like an orthodox uh, synagogue. I- but there are people who are like serious, like it's like a serious practice for people, or is it? Like no, a no, no. It's just more of yeah. It's just more of like an anniversary celebrating an anniversary. And it'd be like tied to your special. birthday. Um. Yeah, but I think that it was usually like tied to the Hebrew calendar. Okay. Yeah. I don't follow that one. I don't. Well. Well, I don't no. Why would you? You got. We got. You got the the Gregorian. I don't even know if that's our calendar. I don't know what yeah. our calendar is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was the question? Oh, if I was ever uh, my rap name. Yeah. If I ever had a rap name, would be um. Uh, Rock holiday, rock holiday, rock holiday, like Doc like, holiday, like Doc holiday, yeah. rock holiday. And if That's I had like great. two other guys, it'd be like the Tombstone group. <laughs> yeah, 
That's I, great. I knew a DJ once. He was like one of my friends, and uh, uh, he was like, like the club, like, hey guys, this is Beckwith to go do coke in the bathroom, like one of those guys. So the like, DJ was telling you to go do coke no, in no, the but like that, like that world of like, like not like, hey, let's do a birthday party, but yeah. like, like, like a EDM. Sure. And, and he went by uh, DJ Unique, and then we looked up uh, DJ Unique online, and there's twelve different DJ Uniques. <laughs> <laughs> not so unique, this guy, huh? It's not. That's not you. All right. <laughs> Do I lose, I lose xylophone privileges? No, 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 no. no. All right. In my head, uh, that, that, that was the cut I okay. mean, at the end of the segment. But you also brought a book with you, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, do you have the book on you it's right now? It's in my backpack over there. Can you get it? I can't because oh, I'm tied. mic'd up. But I think we have Max Ogle who can get it. If you just walk right across the camera. Do it. Walk across the camera. Get the book, There's Max. There's Max Ogle. Max, get my book. Comedy can, you just, can you just bring the whole bag? Yeah. Thanks. I know it's pretty heavy. Thanks, Max. What, Experimental Comedy Gallery? It was a good place until, like, the rape and the fire codes, but, you know, other than that... Well, I'm glad this is the segment that I'm on. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh... All right. Uh, Jake brought the book. It's uh, uh, Jerry Kaczynski. Jersey Kaczynski. Jersey the Devil Kaczynski. Tree by Jersey Kaczynski. All right. The last, the last page of the book I'm going to read. Sure. All right. And truly... He was a devil tree. That's just, that's not how it, but it, 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 when did you read this book? Uh, I read that in high school. It was one of the first books my dad gave to me. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he's like, you know, he, he loves Jersey Kaczynski, so he's like passing it on to me. That's the nice um, thing about kids. You could just, just like, read this, you know? Yeah. So why did you like it? Um, it was, uh, it was like unabashedly uh, dark. Uh, it's about like a, a guy I haven't read it in a really long time, but there's like a complete absence of empathy. And I was like a really sensitive kid. Yeah. And um, so I was just sort of like mind blown by like the things that this protagonist felt and thought and yeah. did. Uh, and he was like ice cold sort of guy. And um, I don't know, that like uh, it was something I'd never experienced before. He did being there. Being there is kind of a, uh, uh, it says it here somewhere. Oh, yeah, being, that's kind of like a lighter I haven't read story. that one. It's, uh, I know about the movie with the guy who, um, uh, Dr. Strangelove, who's a big actor in that guy. He played, like, two different roles. Yep, but it's I like it's like know. Albert Brooks movie. It's, okay. it's whatever. Yeah, Mel Brooks? No, Albert Brooks. Really? Is that a guy? That's I think a guy, it's right? Mel. Max, is that a guy? He's, he's like, a producer for, no, like, podcasts. Okay. You know, like, in podcasts, they always have, like, the guy they always yeah, throw, yeah. like, another question to. Sure. Uh, I, I was going to bring Welcome to the Monkey House, which is a book of short stories that's by Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut. Yeah, yeah which, was, which is the first book my dad gave me, and... Uh, one of my all-time favorites, but I couldn't find it, so I brought that. Actually, also funny uh, story about this book. When I the the protagonist is named Jonathan Whalen, and yeah. when I graduated from college, uh, all of my family came and uh, to see me graduate, and I was an English major. And at the English uh, department graduation, I didn't know that you had to like register for graduation, so uh, I didn't have like a, they gave me a blank name card. Yeah, uh, and so I wrote uh, Jonathan Whalen. So I when I got called up. Uh, to graduate, they they read out that name because I got nervous. I didn't want to do you know like a dick butt kiss or whatever. No, like, no, yeah, no. It's something that would give it away. So I just you know English graduation do a literary reference. And my my fake name I yeah. use a lot is um uh, is uh, Larry Doniker, which is <laughs> carny slang for uh, broken is Larry and Doniker is toilet. <laughs> So you go around as broken toilet. Yeah, broken toilet. Carney, broken yeah. toilet. Yeah, yeah carney. So like all the carnies out there. They'll, are, what up, my carnies? Audience. How you doing, carnies? Uh, please call our show. I can't remember our show's phone number. Um, we have like a specific. We could you usually like put it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be on the like tag right, right there. Right down, it's right here. It's gonna be right there. Yeah. And that, like, right here. I'm gonna pick it up, and we're gonna put it between each other. Yeah. Right here. I don't know if I hold the fingers. number. Yeah, we're gonna hold the number. You wanna pull it apart? Whoa. Whoa. Now I'm gonna have to do that in post. <laughs> that sucks. I just gave you more work. Oh. Can I guess the phone number? Yes. Two one two eight four five seven nine seven nine. I used to give my mom's phone number on podcasts I do, but she oh. got mad at that. Yeah, of course she did. <laughs> you can't just give. I I can't imagine that the podcast you're doing, people, the listeners are gonna call your mom and have a pleasant conversation. No, with no, her. no. I could give my phone number, like my personal phone number. Yeah, what's your phone number? If anyone here is a babe and wants to call me, uh, you can call me at seven eight six four nine three three four four one. You sound like you really need a friend, John. I have lots of friends. You're my friend. I am your friend. Max is my friend. Camera, Rich, 
Richard guy, my friend. His name's Richard. 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 Don't run on that camera, Richard guy. His name's Richard, and he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. We're all nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> he just flipped us off. Oh man, this is just going good. All right, uh, <laughs> I think it's going fine. What's your what? All right, so you walk around in life, and you this book will pop in your head every now and then. Mm -hmm. Are there like scenes that pop in your head? Yeah. Like what, any particular scene that like from this book? Yeah, from this book. Um, yeah, there's a scene in the beginning where he uh, he takes a ride in one of those helicopters that like you can do a helicopter tour of Manhattan. Yeah. Um, and uh, that scene pops into my head sometimes, um, just thinking like a bird's eye view of Manhattan. And then yeah. uh, at the end of the book, he, he uh, strands a couple people on an island okay. and just leaves them to die. And um, I think about that sometimes. So, it's a good book. I think it just caught. All right, that's it. All right, all right. Thanks, John. All right, uh, I'm going to call up the, the, the girl I slept with now. <laughs>